What's going on, folks? Thank you all for tuning in to the Talk About the Tune series where I take each song off my album and break it down and tell you the story behind the song. Today is a special episode because I got my wife here with me today. I've never been in a video for anything. So today this you are. This is a big deal. It's Thanksgiving weekend. So, so happy Thanksgiving, y'all. And burn this city down. Run wild like hell can't see And when we're nowhere to be found, we'll just keep. Like a train rolling off the tracks Make our way across the west coast To make this last night last One thing that one reason I wanted to be on here is because it's Thanksgiving weekend and we want to say, Shelby and I want to say the biggest ever thank you to everybody who listens to his music, buys it, comes to the shows. A lot of you are like family to us. It means so much to us. For those who encourage Shelby during COVID to keep going with music, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you all. Thank you so much. Lots of love. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about uh, Meet Up at Midnight or the Jacket song on the album and I have, um, I don't really, it means something specific to me, and it's one that I don't really want to uh, give away what I think about it, but Hillary, uh, she works, we have two totally different jobs, tell them what you do. Well, I work in pathology, um, and I spend my day in a work grossing room, so I'm, I have a lot of time, I guess, to think about some of the song lyrics, but I always say Shelby's job makes, my job helps keep you alive and Shelby's makes life worth living so we do have very different work <laughs> but um yeah I have a bit of a fan theory about this song what you think okay so we thought it would be fun to share my fan theory about me at midnight when I first met Shelby um this song was requested so much and it's great a lot of people love it a lot of long time Shelby fans out there that love meet up at midnight and I started listening to the lyrics of this song and I will say that there were some things that didn't make sense to me in this song without some context of a, of a bigger story. Um, so we thought it would be fun to share my little theory and then to see, hopefully maybe some of you all will enjoy it and maybe some of you will share your theories in the comments or your ideas about what this song is about. After they subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah, subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, so yeah, I want to tell you my overall theory and then explain why. Because it might sound kind of out there, but I think when you hear my my reasons with the lyrics I think it'll make sense and it'll probably be fun for some people to hear I hope if not just turn it off <laughs> and she works in a morgue so it kind of <laughs> well I mean that really isn't why I thought of this you know I I thought of it when I was working as a science teacher this this came to my brain you know so anyway um okay so meet up at midnight this is what I think it's about in general I think meet up at midnight is about two people who two loved ones loved each other and one of them has quickly unexpectedly passed away but maybe that, that loved one who died has not crossed on, or whatever you want to call it, you know, to somewhere better, to the other side. They're, they're still, their spirit is still here. And they get to return to be with their living loved one um, at midnight. And they only have until sunrise, okay, together. And that sounds out there, uh, but here's why I think that. Okay, so the first thing in Meet Up at Midnight that made me start to think that this didn't make sense is there are lyrics in the first verse that says, I know it wasn't your choice when you said goodbye. So if someone's saying goodbye, why, why would it not be their choice? Except if they had to quickly leave, like maybe they passed away. Maybe there was an accident. We don't yeah. know. So it wasn't your choice when you said goodbye. So they had to, by something happening that wasn't their choice, they had to leave. Okay? And that's very sad. That made me feel sad when I heard that. Um, then uh, in the chorus, the lyrics are run wild like hell can't see us. So maybe this person and their loved one are not wanting them to cross on. They're wanting to run away from heaven and hell and the afterlife, okay? Um, then the part that made me think they have until sunrise. So they meet up at midnight, obviously, to have this time together. And then um, make our way across the west coast to make this last night last, our lyrics. So imagine that they're traveling from east to west trying to you know escape the sunrise as the sun rises in the east trying to make the last few hours of this last night together last um when you get to where you're going will they love you like i do so that makes me think that even though 
this this living person is telling the one who's passed on like you want to cross on you want to go to the afterlife but even when you get there it's supposed to be perfect it's supposed to be great but they won't even love you like I love you so stay with me if you can you know think of what you're leaving when you leave me so you know yeah you're leaving life maybe for somewhere better but they're saying will you miss me think of what you're leaving so Maybe some of you will think about the song and analyze it too in your own mind, say what you think, but I think it's a song that has a little bit more to it, or might possibly, than appears on the surface. Maybe, maybe. That's a very good <laughs> fan theory. That might, just, that, the fan theory might even be better than the song. <laughs> That's, that's very it's fun, cool. it's fun, it fun, you know, and, and it's fun to listen to all these things you talk about and talk about the tunes, and I know I enjoy them, I know a lot of people do, and I'm glad people tune in. So, also, I want to say, while I'm thinking of it, I had a, a group of guys that came in and, and played on this album, there were a lot of them were really good friends of mine, and uh, Noah Frizee uh, mixed it and did all of the things that make it made it sound good, and uh, Randy Birchfield played on No Name Town, and... Um, Jason Hill played on, uh, oh, he played on so many of them, and so did his brother Josh, and uh, we really appreciate those guys too, but um, that is Hillary's fan theory. Oh, can I say something about the second album before I go, really quick? Yeah. I'm so proud of the first album. You should be proud of it. I love it, but let me tell you all, the second one, I'm so excited for it. It is so good. It's really? so, so good. It's so good. I'm telling you. It's so good. <laughs> I, I, have, I have my actual band working on the second album. It's and, awesome. And uh, we're, we're working really hard on it. So it's actually going to have Tyler Kaiser on the bass and Luke Step on the drums. And it, we're really excited to release our next single very soon. So thank you all for tuning in to talk about the tunes. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and share it. And we will see you next time. This song's called Meet Up at Midnight. I hope you like it.
Let's meet up at midnight and burn this city down. Run wild like hell can't see us. And when we know where to be found, we'll just keep on running like a train rolling up the tracks. Make our way across the West Coast to make.